Hello, people. Good evening. Hello. How are you, everyone? How are you? Good. Good. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys tonight? You good? Hello. 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 Yes. Welcome Good to night. your class, Blanca, Diego, Bright, Tarón, Nelly, Marielita, <laughs> Gabriela, Yamile, <laughs> Yuzi, and Kenya Vanessa. How are you guys? Ready to continue? Fine. You're fine? Excellent. Don't feel tired today. No? Energy. Full okay. energy. Full energy, optimism. <laughs> you know, you're optimistic people. You're optimistic persons. I know. <laughs> I am. I am. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that is the attitude, right? Be positive with energy every day. Excellent. All right, guys. Remember that yesterday we were studying with adjectives, right? Different types of adjectives. We have all physical appearance, but also we have internal characteristics. Like this case we saw yesterday about, for example, if you have a so beautiful, pretty, elegant, handsome, you have a cute, funny, gorgeous, ugly, attractive. We have other example here. Now, to describe character and personality. Attentive. Attentive is that you pay attention, right? It's like you. You are very attentive because you pay attention and you concentrate in the class. Calm. There are people that they have a calm, calm personality. Good tempered. What is good tempered? What do you think is good tempered? Buen temperamento. And that's good. Yeah. Contrary would be bad tempered. A person that is always angry with a bad Buena temperatura. Iba a decir yo. <laughs> that's a good temperature. <laughs> humble. Remember what is humble? Humilde. No, me. Esta imagen parece de otra. That's the, the other right. Otra impresión, but it's humble. Enfermo. Ah, yeah. It looks like sick, but it's enfermo, right? Como que algo le cayó mal. <laughs> but it's humble, like humilde. Humble. Lively. What is lively? Lively, yeah, yeah lively. What is lively? Animado, activo, enérgico. That's lively. Happy, I'm happy. Right? That's a happy person. Excellent. Smart. What is a smart? You are a smart student. Muy inteligente. Excellent. That's good. You have synonyms. You can say smart or intelligent. They are synonyms. But it's more common to use intelligent, right? But it's the same. It's more change there. Hardworking. But we say it's hardworking. En la parte de smart intelligence mm -hmm. eh, yes. se puede utilizar el, el must, must intelligent. Ah, oh, yes, but that is a superlative. Ese es, ese es un superlativo. Like right? when you say, eh, for example, my father is the most intelligent in my family. Eso es para un como, a, eh, ajá, como que de, de, de un grupo, por decirlo así. Exacto. Cuando damos la descripción en un superlativo, hay uno que destaca entre el grupo. Y aquí se utiliza el superlativo. The most, el más inteligente. Ya no simplemente está diciendo que es inteligente, sino que es el más inteligente de, de un grupo. Uh -huh. So you can say also the smartest. En el caso de smart, como es un adjetivo que lleva solo una sílaba, 
Entonces, ya me va a cambiar el superlativo. Va a ser de esta forma. Yes. The smartest in the family. Él es el más listo, el más inteligente en, en la familia. Entonces, se puede utilizar ambos. Ambos se pueden. The most intelligent or the smartest. Solo que acá lleva the most porque se sigue una regla diferente. Intelligent es un, un adjetivo que lleva más de una sílaba. Intelligent. How many syllables? ¿Cuántas sílabas? Intelligent. Four. 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 Excellent. Four. That's good. And smart solo es una sílaba. Cuando lo pronunciamos, no decimos smart. Right? No lleva pausa. Smart. Una sílaba. Entonces, se siguen diferentes reglas para comparar o para decir un superlativo. Por eso es que acaba diferente. Aquí va de most y acaba con est agregado a, al adjetivo. Yes. Is that clear? Eso lo vamos a ver también más específico más adelante. Porque ahorita solo tenemos los adjetivos. So, let's go on here. Let's continue then. Well, we have a smart, intelligent, right? They are synonyms. Then we have faithful. What is faithful? Faithful is that you can trust in a person. Confiable. Ah. <sighs> Guapa. Yes. You're a faithful person, right? Faithful, fiel, also you can say. I am a faithful person, una persona fiel. Pessimistic, negative, right? A negative person. Friendly, what's friendly? Amigable. Amigable, very good. Nervous. You eat your nails. <laughs> what is nervous? ¿Qué dijo que, era, ¿Qué dijo que era faithful? Faithful, what is faithful? Confiable. 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 Puede ser confiable, puede ser fiel. Si hablamos de, de una relación, ¿vale? puede ser fiel, una persona fiel. Puede ser un amigo fiel también. Por ejemplo, los dogs, los perritos también son fieles. They are faithful. Y, li y lively. Ah, lively. Lively means lively. energetic. Enérgico, eh, animado, activo. Lively. Thank you. You're welcome. Optimistic is positive, right? Positive person. Honest. 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 Is an honest person. Be honest. Obedient. What's obedient? Obediente. Obediente. That's good. Are you obedient? Are you obedient? Yes, me. Yes. yes. <laughs> Are you obedient with your parents? Are you? <laughs> okay, so we have obedient, hardworking. Okay, we have this one. Now let's have other examples. Let's see others here. Naffy. What's naffy? You know what's naffy? Uh huh. Excellent. Thank you. That's naffy. Normally, kids or children, they are nasty. They like to touch, right? Many things. They are nasty persons. Unhappy, unhappy. What is unhappy? Hmm. Triste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be like sad. Infeliz. Infeliz. Desdichado. It can be also unhappy. So it's the contrary, the happy, right? Proud. I feel proud because I am learning English. Proud. Yes. Excellent. That's good. Disobedient. Disobediente. That's great. That's nice. Are you disobedient? No, right? No, Happy. I don't think so. You are not disobedient. You are obedient. <laughs> unpleasant. What do you think is unpleasant? Desagradable. That is unpleasant. So it's the contrary. The pleasant, when, uh, when there is something that you like, you say, ah, this is pleasant. It's agradable, pleasant. But unpleasant is the contrary. It's negative. Lazy. Lazy. 
What's lazy? Perezoso. Perezoso, Aragán. Yes. That's why they're lazy. Pues. Ajá. Lojo puede ser. <laughs> What about dishonest? Dishonest. Lojo, ajá. Dishonest, ajá. That's good. Talkative. What's talkative? Hablantín. Hablantín, algo así. Platicón. Platicón. Sí, porque a veces, bueno, al menos aquí en El Salvador no decimos, así es hablantín, pero a veces... Chachalaca. Ajá, la like Salvadorian language. No lo puedo traducir. Este, no sería correcto traducirlo como hablador, porque hablador para nosotros es como chismoso. That's gossiper, right? Entonces, platico. Bueno, Chachalaca. Y... Uh, en algunos Ajá. países también hablador le dicen como a los oradores. Exactly. Ajá. Ya en otro país, exacto. Eso es un orador. Ajá. Alguien que da discursos. Right? Yeah. Generous. Generoso. 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 You like. You like to help people. Ajá. Generous. Cuando le gusta ayudar a alguien, right? That's a generous person. Untidy. Look at the picture. What do you think is untidy? Como desordenado. Perfect. Des Excellent. That's good. Desordenado. So only tidy is ordenado, organizado. Untidy is desordenado. With no order, no organization. Hypocritical. That like to criticize. Alguien que le gusta criticar, un crítico. Un Hipócrita. Right? Hipócrita. Uh -huh. yeah. like es that. como, yes. como criticar, ¿verdad? Like that, como un crítico. Criticón. Yes, hypocritical. Alguien que juzga. juzga. Ajá, ya, yeah, criticón. Ajá. They like to criticize Teacher. the others. Yes. Repeat the pronunciation de, la, de esa palabra, hipocrítica. Hippo, hypocritical. Hipocritical. Ajá, hippo. Hipocritical. Hippo, hippo. Hippo. Hipo. 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 Como hipo. Como la, hipo. 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 Exactly. Pero no en todas, porque por ejemplo, con la palabra hora, no lo pronunciamos como hours. Oh. Hours. Oh. Hay, hay excepciones. Ok. Hay excepciones. Thank you. Thank you. Lick, Lick, buenas noches. ¿Qué dijo que hey, significa la palabra flow y naughty? Eh, nothing. Nothing. Travieso o traviesa. And proud. Proud it means orgulloso. Orgulloso, pero no de arrogante. That is different, right? Orgulloso, pero de sentirse bien, porque hizo algo bien. That's proud. Pero no podría ser como de, de alguien importante, sino que es como de algo bueno. Eja, es como yo me siento orgulloso de algo, de algo que yo hice, de algo que lo Que yo lo creé. Pasar de grado. Que yo, lo, que yo logré. I feel, I feel proud or I am proud because eh, I graduated. Porque me gradué. Ah. Right? Es, de algún logro personal. Por un logro. Entonces, entonces proud es orgullo de ser y hacer. Orgulloso. Orgulloso. Uh -huh. Porque es un, es un adjetivo. <coughs> I am proud. I am proud of my family. Estoy orgulloso de mi familia. I'm proud of my family. I am proud of my friends. Pero no orgulloso de, ah, qué orgulloso. Ese es arrogante. That's arrogant. That is different. It's like this. Arrogant. Like this. That's very different. You say, no, oh, no, that person is very arrogant. Digamos, Ese sería ¿no? otra, otro adjetivo. Ah, exactly, that's another description <laughs> that you can use. Uh -huh. She is very arrogant, is an arrogant person. Different than proud, very different. 
Lazy, ¿qué dijimos que era, Tincho? Nothing, eh, travieso, Lazy. travieso o no, travieso. Lazy. Oh, lazy, lazy means Aragán. Lazy, lazy. Oh. lazy. Eh, Aragán, Eso perezoso, es... alguien dijo por ahí, flojo. <ríe> Holgazán. Holgazán, uh, si sí, tenemos bastantes maneras de llamarlo, yes. ¿Y la que está abajo, teacher? Unpleasant. Desagradable. Unpleasant. Um, correct. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Correct. Es desagradable. So you can say that a person is unpleasant. She is unpleasant. He is unpleasant. Que es como... You don't like. Algo que es desagradable. Algo que usted no okay, le agrada. Okay. Pues hay personas que tal vez no le agradan. Agradable, antipático, puede ir ahí dentro Perfect. de él. Perfect, yeah, correct. Uh -huh. We have the same context. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. I have other examples here. But now we're going to include the question to describe more persons. Remember yesterday we were like a describing. Uh, what's Madonna like? Uh, you mentioned she's pretty, she's intelligent, she's generous. Now, we are going to use these adjectives. For example, you have the first one. I uh have, -huh. yes, sorry. She's funny. She's funny, correct. You see, we can describe with different manners. For example, here we have, what's your best friend like? Como es, como es tu amigo? You can say, ah, o tu amiga, right? She's very smart. What's the smart? Gente. Inteligente. Inteligente, right? So you can substitute with intelligence. They are synonyms. What's your mother like? She's really optimistic. Look at that here. It's not only she's smart, that's okay. But if you want to put emphasis, si le queremos poner más emphasis a la característica, podemos utilizar un very smart. Muy. Si quiere agregar más nivel de emphasis, but really. What's your mother like? Oh, she's really optimistic. O sea, realmente. Realmente. Right? Optimistic. Uh -huh. Optimistic. So we have other adjectives here. And they describe personality. For example, Nafi, right? We mentioned Nafi already. Sensitive. What is sensitive? Sensible. Sensible, very good. You cry, right? You have a problem. You cry for everything. Emotional is very similar than sensitive, actually. Being emotional. So if you are angry, maybe that you fight with other people. If you are sad, you cry. So very emotional. Bipolar. <laughs> Bipolar, yes. <laughs> That's true. Change the personality, many personalities. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about mean? What do you think is a mean person? Mean. Mean is a person that maybe is very angry all the time and they don't have good manners. To treat other people. No tienen buena manera para tratar a las demás personas. Grosero. Son grosero. Es, es pésimo. That is mean. Say, ah, oh, no. My boss is very mean. Mi jefe es bien grosero. Bien pésimo. It's mean. That is a mean person. Rude. Una persona ruda. También se puede identificar como eh, pésimo. Rude. He's a rude wow. person. Very rude. Don't be rude. No seas rude. No seas pésimo rude. Funny. Talkative. Yeah, that's another example of talkative. Optimistic. Pessimistic. The contrary. Untidy. We mentioned that is a person that would, does not have organization. Disorder. Untidy. Let's see another case. We have more questions here. Continue describing Miss, people. Yes, tell me. Tengo, tengo duda con, con rude, rude. Como rude. Rude. Y yes. mean. And mean. 
what happened is that rude, they are like synonyms. They are synonyms. Es como grosero, pésimo. Como cuando le dicen, no sea rudo. Lo que pasa es que, por ejemplo, aquí en El Salvador, nosotros decimos rudo como alguien que, que le cuesta eh, como entender algo, pero en realidad rudo es como, es pésimo. Es, es un que pesadas. Pesado. Ajá. You are very rude today. Está bien pesado este día. Bien pesado. Voy a andar pesado. Bien pesado. You're very toxic today. <laughs> or toxic, right? So it can be rude or mean, pero es más común utilizar mean. You are very mean. You're bien grosero. Very mean. Similar to rude. Rebecca, you have a question? Tell me. Yes. Eh, ¿Qué otras palabras podemos utilizar para agregar énfasis? Oh, you can use very. You can use also little. Ya vamos a ver otros ejemplos de eso. Podemos utilizar um, a little. You can use very or really. Para decir muy inteligente. Very smart. Really, you can say really tall, realmente alto. No solo alto, sino que muy, muy alto. A little, un, un poco. A little, and you can say a little sensitive. A little emotional. Eh, a little happy, un poquito travieso. Un poco travieso. A little happy. Por no decir que mucho, right? A little <laughs> Yes, tell me. Y para decir, eh, por lo menos, yo hoy ando uh, sensible. Uh, no I sé. am very sensitive today. I am. I, am, uh, I am very sensitive today. Para decir, muy sensible, ¿verdad? Si es muy sensible, mm -hmm. entonces sería very sensitive. I am very sensitive today. I am very emotional today. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sí, pero por lo menos. Ajá. Gracias. So you put emphasis. You're very welcome. Any other question? No? Okay. No. Let's continue with more. More practice. What's your sister like? She's a little smart. So you're not saying that she's totally smart, but un poco lista, right? <laughs> A little smart. What's the doctor like? Have you noticed that when you go to the hospital or to the clinic, sometimes the doctors are very angry or very serious or really, really serious? You can answer, he's a little serious, but really polite. Es un poco serio, pero realmente cortés, educado. That's polite. Polite es una persona cortés. Educado. So that bat, se bat significa pero. And we have others here. Chiqui. What's chiqui? Have you heard of chiqui? Chiqui means descarado sin vergüenza. <laughs> that is chiqui. Chiqui. Can be also hardworking. Polite, remember, polite, educated person, a nice person. Educado. Uh -huh, that is polite. Educado, cortés, amable, also can be polite. Strict. Are you strict? If you are a mother, if you are a father, are you strict? You can also say popular, right? That is another description. There are persons that they are very popular. So they have a lot of friends. Talkative. We mentioned talkative. Romantic. Wow, that's a good, yeah. There are persons that they are very romantic. They like to give flowers. They like to give chocolates. They dedicate songs to their crush. Unhappy, we mentioned unhappy. Untidy, we mentioned that is disorder, a person that died the disorder. Rude, you see, a rude person, a mean person. Lazy, do not like to work. Lazy, friendly, 
Greedy. Have you heard of greedy? Greedy is a person who likes to have everything. Alguien que, que quiere tener todo y nunca le es suficiente cada. Avaro. That's greedy. Greedy. Nervous. Podría ser también ambicioso. Um, well, it can be connected. Just that ambitious, it would be that. Lo que pasa es que ambicioso también puede ser de buena manera. Ambición um, a tener un mejor futuro. Ambición a estar mejor. Pero ya en algo negativo es greedy, porque es avaro. Quiere tener todo, todo lo quiere acaparar. Ah, ok. Como, como dentro de sinónimo de codicia, codicioso. Codicioso. Ajá, correct, yes. Es que, eh, en español es como el tono, vea. Es diferente, ajá, el contexto es, es diferente, varía. Dice, qué ambicioso sos. Pero uno tiene, puede, eh, puede tener ambiciones buenas, ¿no? A estar mejor. Pues no puede ser solo ambición a lo material, sino a, a que su familia esté bien. Eh, para tener buena salud, eh, ambicionar buena salud. Shy. Remember shy? Timid. It's a timid person. Vain. What's vain? What do you think is vain? Vanidoso. Vanidoso. Yes, that is correct. Good one. Okay, we're going to take some minutes to uh, pass the list, guys. So let me know if you are present. Okay. Shy, que dimos que era, teacher? Tímido. Tímido o tímida. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. All right, let's see. Aaron, you're present, right? Present teacher. Very good, thank you. Ada Lisette? Present. Thank you. Alejandra Margarita? Alejandra Margarita? No present. Ariel Alexandra. Ariel Alexandra. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you. Brian René. Brian René. Douglas Heriberto. Douglas Heriberto. No present. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer de Nilsson. Present. Yes, thank you. Fernando de Jesús. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn Susana. Juan, Juan Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Vanessa. Kenia Vanessa. Present. Me. Thank you. Thank you. Maria Emilia. Present. Thank you. Marisol Elizabeth. Marisol Elizabeth. No. Nevi Solina. Present. Me. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you so much. Rebecca Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Santa Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Sandra Margarita. Present. Present. Thank you. Sochi Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Judy Edith. Present. Thank you very much, guys. We'll go on. All right, so let's continue here. We were with these questions. Now let's go ahead with our practice. Time to practice. We have some examples here. 
So you are going to give me other examples. Remember that these ones are the ones that we watch in the video, but here we can include others with the vocabulary that you have learned. And I have the first one. We have also some models. My friend John is really tall. Then we have the next one that is my cousin Mary is a little short. My coworker Chris is a little heavy. Do you have questions about this? Preguntas acerca de esos ejemplos? ¿Qué significa co-working? Co co-worker is a person that works with you in a company. For example, como el... yes? Es como, Sería como, como compañero gerente. de trabajo, teacher. Compañero. It's correct. Yes, that is correct. Uh -huh. That is a co-worker. Es un compañero de trabajo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, you have another example. My best friend Fatima is really talkative. You see, I'm putting emphasis. You see, really talkative. Realmente you give me? Hablantina. Realmente o muy, muy platicona. Let's continue. Give me another example. Judy Ritz, give me another example, please. Sister, uh -huh. my sister is intelligent. Okay, is intelligent. All right, that is okay. You don't put emphasis, but that's a good sentence. Very good, thank you. Maybe another example. Uh, my cousin is Diana is uh my cousin, right? My cousin my, Diana. My cousin. Okay. My cousin Diana is uh, nervous. Is nervous. Okay. That's good. Is nervous. Thank you. Very good. He's very nervous. Okay. More emphasis. All right. Very nervous. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Sachi, continue. Um, my brother is very serious all right my brother is very serious serious all right good one is very serious yeah very serious good one thank you i don't another example mm. my my best friend ¿Se puede, ¿Puedo ponerle sin el nombre o solamente con el nombre? Así nomás. No, that's okay, yes. Puede poner énfasis okay. en cuál es el nombre de, de su mejor amigo o solo puede mencionar el nombre de mi mejor amigo. Ok. My, my best friend, Sandra. All right. It's really... Is really pretty. All right, that's good. It's really pretty. That's right. A lot of emphasis. Thank you. Very good. Rafael, your turn. My girlfriend, my my girlfriend is beautiful. That's good. Okay. My girlfriend is beautiful. That's right. Good one. What can you do? Beautiful. Excellent. Thank you. Let's continue. Maria Emilia, your example, please. My husband is a little shy. He's a little shy. Okay. He's a little, it's a poco A little shy. Great, thank you, Emilia. Continue, Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto, are you present? My wife is really beautiful. Great, very good job, nice. My wife is really 
Beautiful. Right, thank you. Continue, Kenya Vanessa. My baby is is funny. It's funny. Okay, <laughs> it can be. Yeah, that's correct. It's funny. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Blanca. Continue, please. Uh, puede ser my doctor in the kitchen. I'm sorry, my doctor. My doctor, a uh, doctor is intelligent. Oh, oh my daughter. daughter. You say daughter, my right? Daughter. My daughter. Mi hija, mi hija, daughter. Very good. Okay. Daughter, my daughter. Very good. My daughter. My daughter is intelligent. And what is the the synonym of intelligent? You remember? Smart. Excellent. Very good. Now let's continue. Ada, give us your example. My mother is very, very in smart. Okay, very good. Very smart. So if you say that is very, very smart, you can substitute and say really smart. Okay. Yes. So that you don't well, have to repeat very well. Really. You can say really smart. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Let's continue. So chill. Uh, yes. Uh, another example. Oh, yes. Sorry. You have given examples. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Fernando, continue, please. My dog is very beautiful. That's good. My dog is very beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent. Thank you. Who we'll continue? Let me see, Rafael. Oh. My father is very responsibility. Ah, very good. My father is very responsible. Very responsible. That's great. Sandra Margarita. My brother is really friendly. That's good, he's really friendly. Excellent. That's good. Elmer. My grandmother is is really quiet. Quiet. Grandmother is really, right? Really quiet. Great. Thank you, Brian. Brian? Are you there, Brian? He's not there. Okay. Alguien que me falte de ejemplo? No. Yes. Okay, Rebecca. Thank you. My son is a little naughty. Okay. My son is a little naughty. A little, right? A little. <laughs> a little nasty. That's all right. Great one, guys. Okay. Hey, children, uh, very disobedient. Disobedient. Very disobedient. All right. That's good. Okay. Now we're going to read them. And let's start. Brian, read the first one, please. Brian Rene, can you read the first one, please? No, Brian. Brian, are you there? Brian, no. Fernando, 
Fernando de Jesús? El primero, ¿verdad? Yes, please. My best friend. My best friend, Fatima, is really talkative. Talkative. That's right. Thank you. Rafael, continue, please. My sister. The microphone. The microphone, Rafael. Thank you. My sister is in Italian. Thank you, great. Sandra Margarita. My cousin Diana is very nervous. Right, yes. Gabriela, the next one. My brother is very serious. 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 Right, thank you. Rebecca, continue, please. My best friend Sandra is really pretty. Very good job, nice. Adali said. Continue with my husband. My husband is a little shy. Shy, excellent. That is correct. Let's continue. Let's see with Fernando. Fernando, continue with my girlfriend. My girlfriend is beautiful. Excellent. Continue, Nevi. My, my baby, my baby. My, my baby is funny. Funny, excellent, that's good. Blanca, continue with my daughter. Ah, that is your example. <laughs> my my do daughter. My daughter, daughter. My daughter, my daughter is intelligent. Intelligent, very good. We'll continue, Aaron. My mother. My mother is really smart. Excellent, that's good. Kenya, Kenya Vanessa. My dog. Kenya? Kenya, can you listen? Kenya Vanessa? Yes. My dog? My dog. Uh-huh. My dog is? My dog is? Very beautiful. Excellent. Thanks. Continue, Tachil. My father. My father is very responsible. Responsible. Very good. Juan Alberto. My uh, brother. Hi. Uh, my brother. My brother, teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. My brother is really. Friendly. Friendly. Very good. Judy Edith, my grandmother. My grandmother is really quiet. 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 Very quiet. good. Nice. Maria Emilia, the last one. My son. My son is a little nothing. 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 Nothing, yeah, that's all right. Okay, so we have description, description of person, right? As physical appearance, but also internal personalities. Do you have questions? No questions? No? Okay, remember that also you have the other exercise and also the midterm. Now we've finished. Like uh, the section three, culminamos con la sección tres y pues nos quedamos con el midterm, ¿verdad? Tratando de ir avanzando lo más que pueda para que no se vayan a atrasar. Y ya empezamos con la sección four. Okay. So let's continue. Section four. We have the name of the section four is whose jeans are this? Do you remember that we practice about the WH questions that we investigate a specific information like what, where, when, what time, whose. So what is whose? You remember? What is whose? Para preguntar sobre una propiedad. O una Excellent. Posición. Very good, that's nice. Uh, de quién? De quién es? ¿De quién es este pantalón? Ajá. Just that these ones are plural, right? En el caso de los pantalones siempre van a ser plurales porque llevan dos mangas. 
o como los lentes, que siempre va a ser plural. So, acá es jeans, pants. Whose jeans are this? ¿De quién son estos pantalones? Entonces, whose jeans are these? O sea, que ahí entrarían zapatos, calcetines. Perfect. So, we are going to see clothes vocabulary. We are going to remember. We know that there are a lot of clothes and accessories that is possible to wear. Now, this is going to be the first one, the objective. In this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes, which you wear, wear, that means usar, usar una prenda de vestir. So wear for work or for leisure. Leisure, that means eh, para relajarse, para uh, pasar tiempo. So as remember, there exists formal, formal clothing, or casual clothing, right? Like when you go out, como para salir, para ir a relajarse, right? As different clothes. Se escucha como interferencia, ¿verdad? ¿Me escuchan? Ah, como, okay. yeah, a, ya, aquí ah, era. Sí, sí. Yo, ah, ok, pensé que era el mío, me afligí. Yeah. Yo pensé <ríe> que la refri estaba. Yo también me afligí, pensé que era el mío. Ajá, es que se siente como que es el audio de uno. Se metió una abeja, dijo. <laughs> It was a bee. <laughs> so we have different clothes here. For example, here, clothes for work. You have shirt. You have a tie. Coat. Shoes. Jacket. Pants. And we have this one as for men. Now we have for the woman. Blouse. Blouse, right? Blouse. Scarf, you put it around your neck, a blouse, a skirt. We have heels or high heels, that means tacones, high heels, or a suit, que es un traje, tanto para hombre como para mujer. So it's formal clothes, suit. Then we have raincoats, that's especially when the weather is rainy. So you wear a raincoat, right, to protect. A dress, yes. Ray, 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 es, como, es como chaqueta. No, es un es un impermeable. Abril. Es, ajá, pero es como un impermeable. impermeable. Ajá, exacto. Okay. Es un abrigo, pero a la vez es impermeable. Por that okay. reason is that it raincoat. Es un abrigo para la lluvia. Miss. Yes. Si la persona tuviera como ropa de, de trabajo, no unos tacones, sino que unos zapatos normales serían shoes. They are shoes. Ajá. Es que en general la categoría es shoes. Pero si ya queremos hablar en zapatos? específico, eh, si son zapatillas, ajá, pueden ser flats. Son flats. Porque son como planos, ¿no? Flats. Otra vez. Flats. Suena, es, es, es ah, ajá, otra vez se escucha la abejita. I listen to the B. <laughs> Se escucha todavía eh, el, el zumbidito. So we have a raincoat, right? So in the case of shoes, these ones are specific. Siempre son zapatos, they are shoes. But in a specific, they are high heels. Ese heels va a ser tacones. Que pueden ser altos, eh, dependiendo, right? They can be like uh, small, they can be big heels. Como no. en, nuestro, en nuestro idioma, las plataformas, mm, la The platform, perfect, ajá. Um, uh -huh. Platform, Así. exactly. Because they have Acunones. different styles. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. yes. They have different styles of shoes. Mm -hmm. For leisure, para pasar tiempo, para relajarse, so that can be clothes, different accessories, a hat. Like when you go to El Pital, right? It's necessary to wear a, a hat. Then you have gloves, gloves, and you have jeans, right? They are pants in general, they are pants, but in a specific, they are jeans. We have boots, a sweater. For the men, a cap, t-shirt. T-shirt is una camiseta, una playera, es casual. Then we have shorts, we have socks, sneakers, that they are tennis, 
they are like synonym, right? You can say tennis or you can say sneakers. Pero me lo puedo no. porque sneaker uh -huh. me suena a chocolate. And yes, that's true. <laughs> to the sneakers or Hershey's. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, it's delicious. You have also swimsuits. Why? Porque se les llama sneakers. Es como un tipo de zapato, zapatilla o como. No, what happened is that sneakers is in, like in general, they are synonyms. Son synonyms. Después cuando comemos sneaker, comemos zapatos. Yeah, yes. You got okay, I need tennis. I need sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> it's not chocolate, okay? <laughs> So, but son sinónimos que se utilizan. A veces lo que pasa es que también varía dependiendo de, del estado, por ejemplo, o del país. Porque en Estados Unidos, pues se les llama más que todo sneakers, pero en el idioma ya inglés puro, el británico, tiene a veces vocabulario diferente. Y es, um, puede ser el mismo elemento que estoy nombrando. En Estados Unidos se le llama de una forma, eh, en right, el lenguaje británico ya tiene otro, otro nombre, pero ambos son válidos. That's why sneakers, or you can say tennis. Ok, say, thank you. You're welcome. You also have pajamas. So it's not pajamas. You say pajamas. Pajamas. Or maybe it's the fan. Yes, cierto. A veces el ventilador suena así. Okay. More. This one is clothes for work. More specific. We know that they have different styles. Oh, fashion. A la moda, right? So we have different styles now for the girls, for the women. But also for the men, different colors, different styles. This is another case. That's for women. Women's formal clothes. A coat. What's a coat? Un abrigo, right? That they also have different styles, different colors. High heels, you see? Different styles too, different colors. And also the size. Formal coats, like for the office or for a job interview also. Formal pants. These ones are more formal clothes. A bow tie, un corbatín. Hay, um, por ejemplo, en los restaurantes, hay unos que son bien elegantes y pues les exigen en sus meseros que deben de usar un corbatín. La waiter. A meseros, ajá, correct. To the waiter or to the waitress. Also, a suit. Suit is in general, un traje. So it's formal, tanto para mujer como para hombre. So that's a suit for men or for a woman. A tie. A uniform. Some companies, they like, obligate the employees to wear a uniform. Skirt suits, right? Es un traje que es de falda, porque hay que son de pantalón, right? So skirt suit. Dressing shoes, pantalón. Eh, de vestir, o pueden ser formal shoes. So that's dress issues. They are very formal. Si me ayudan con el micrófono, por favor. Help me, please. Thank you, thank you. And we have other examples here. We have the famous polo shirts. They are very good, comfortable, son cómodas, right? They are fresh. Comfortable polo shirts. We also have these ones that are very formal shirts. So, si son formales, bien formales son shirts. Tenemos las polo shirts también. Yeah, uh, also trousers. Trousers, they are formal pants. Trousers. Jackets. We also have pairs of shoes. Different colors, different styles. We also have a hat. Also, we have different styles and colors and purposes, like you wear a hat to go to the beach, when you go to the park, to the mountain, belt, different materials, so of belt. We also have a tie. Now, there are also people that they like to put a different combination depending on the day. For example, if it's Monday, 
they use a combination. On Tuesday, a different combination. On Wednesday, another combination. Thursday, Friday, and on Friday, it's a little bit different, right? It depending on the company. Hay algunas en compañías que le dicen a sus trabajadores que pueden llegar de estilo casual. Or, or jeans, right? They can wear jeans and a polo, a polo shirt on Saturday and on Sundays. Now, we have this vocabulary. Do you have questions with this? Questions with vocabulary close? En el, caso de las, en el caso de las polo shirts, esa Ajá. es una como estilo de camisa, ¿verdad? Es un, es un estilo, exacto. Porque las otras son como camisas formales. This is formal, Solamente son correct. shirt. Si es formal, es shirt. Sí, este es un tipo, ¿verdad? Porque es polo shirt, pero también hay otra que es t-shirt, que es bien similar a la polo shirt. Es así como esta. Uh, polo shirt. This is, a, uh, this is a shirt because it's formal. We also have this one. This is a t-shirt. Porque parece una T. Como camiseta. Ajá, es una camiseta, una playera, es casual. But if it's formal, then it is a a shirt. It's a Miss, shirt like this. Yes, tell me. ¿Por qué shirt allí lleva ese y cuando dice t-shirt no lleva? Ah, what happened is that here is saying that is, this one is plural. Aquí se está refiriendo porque hay más de una. Ah, ok. Ajá, acá es más de una. Y la que mencionaba de t-shirt, acá porque solo hay una. Ah, ok. So es t-shirt, camiseta. Ahora, si hubiera más de una, tendría que decir t-shirts. Le, le agregamos la S. Le agregamos la S. Uh -huh. Porque ya sería un plural. The same as, uh, if you want to say uh, shoes, like this, let me show you shoes, shoes, shoes. Deberíamos una cosa, deberíamos en audio porque uno que tiene audio no se siente bien feo. Help me, please, with the, the microphone. Yes, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so in the case of shoes, you can say only one shoe. Podemos mencionar si solo un zapato, decimos shoe. A shoe. Shoe, right? No like that. A shoe. Es un zapato. Porque son elementos que se pueden individualizar. Now, if it's plural, then you say shoes. Any other question? Preguntas? More questions? Hello? No questions? Ah, dijimos que eh, a coat era chaqueta, ¿verdad? A coat? Coat es un abrigo. Coat. Abrigo. abrigo. Oh, perdón, chaqueta abrigo. es jacket. Ok. Ajá. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow we continue with more. Mañana vamos a seguir con más. Más de vocabulario y vamos a hacer un ejercicio también. Ok, yes. All right, guys, then have sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow night in your class. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have much. a very good night. Thank have you. a beautiful night. Sweet good dreams. Night. Thank you. Good Pray night. with the angels. Thank you very much. Take care. Night. See you. Remember the midterm. Recuerden el midterm. Yes, advance. Nos mandaron, mis, nos mandaron un listado de todas las personas que, que están pendientes. Si no estamos Está en el con... listado, estamos bien, ¿verdad? Sí, porque como si ustedes han ido avanzando, uh -huh, se traten de, de no atrasarse, porque si no, como les digo, se les va a acumular todo y como ellos van actualizando también las notas. Uh -huh. Thank you. Recuerden Thank you. que ya terminamos la, la sección 3, ya la terminamos, entonces ya tienen material para terminar esa sección y poder empezar esta también. Tengo una pregunta. Yes, tell me, Rafael. Me cayó un mensaje en el cual me notificaba en la plataforma de que yo estoy en calidad de participante, sin embargo, no voy a ser acreditado. Es decir, que, que no se me va a extender el certificado de, 
de participación. Esa parte como que me queda con duda. Pero fíjense, yo sí, yo pregunté eso, pero sí me dijeron que sí les entregan siempre el certificado ah, a, okay. a terminar el módulo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Así les aparece, creo que a todos les aparece así. Ajá, sí, el Salud, día de ayer, un, un... que como eso de las doce y media terminé el Middle Town uh -huh. y este me apareció ese mensaje. Uh -huh. Sí, así aparece, pero sí, yo tenía esa duda también y consulté y me dijeron que, que, ajá, que siempre les entregan el certificado, pero eso se los envían a ustedes. ¿Y a dónde salió eso? Gracias. Yo creo que, que fueron los que entregaron después de las 12, creo que apareció porque los demás, bueno, a mí no, no me apareció. apareció ¿verdad? No, no, ni a mí tampoco. No, ok, ah, pues no, no a todos les aparece. Sí, en algunos casos sí apareció. All right, guys. Any other question? Yes, miss. No questions? Thank you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful night. Good night. Thank you. Take care. Good, Good night. night. Thank Bye. you very much. Good, Good night. night. Bye. Sweet Take dreams. care. Sweet dreams. Thank you so much. Miss.